With new medicines and increased survival rates, the cardiac world has changed dramatically in the last decade. As digital technology advances, patients will be able to obtain care closer to home, and doctors will diagnose cardiovascular disease earlier. Scope Care was founded to assist carers, families, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. Cardiovascular health technologies include all equipment and methods that allow doctors to speed up the detection and treatment of heart diseases. Doctors are currently experimenting with developing cardiac technologies, such as artificial intelligence, AI, Alexa capabilities, and chatbots. According to several clinical trials, technology-enabled cardiovascular therapies can enhance patient outcomes and have resulted in a 23% reduction in hospital readmissions. Cardiovascular disease is no laughing matter and it is a severe worry for any doctor. The challenge these figures raise is how can clinicians influence these metrics in ways that promote patient health and long-term outcomes? The causes of cardiovascular disease are numerous, ranging from environmental to hereditary to cultural. Each component is addressed individually by the technology described in this video. Every doctor, as well as every diagnosed patient, should be aware of these. Cardiovascular disorders can be detected and predicted using big data. Big data is a fancy name for the process of analyzing large amounts of data to generate accurate insights that can be used to solve a specific problem, whether medical or otherwise. There is a wealth of information available on various facets of the cardiovascular disease specialty. Two recent peer-reviewed academic papers have shown how big data can be used to avoid cardiovascular ailments and aid in the generation of early diagnosis. The first, titled System Framework for Cardiovascular Disease Prediction Using Big Data Technology, was published in the November 2017 issue of Symmetry. The researchers examined a wide range of indicators that could be used to predict the chance of specific populations developing cardiovascular illnesses over time. Big data algorithms, it turns out, can forecast the case of a patient developing cardiovascular disease by analyzing clinical, genomic, and lifestyle data through disease correlations, drug side effects, and genetic studies. A second study published in the journal Biomed Research International in May 2018 found that big data can correctly predict the likelihood of a person having cardiovascular disease in 80% of cases. Most importantly, this article provides a thorough list of risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Gender, kind of chest pain, resting blood pressure, serum cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, ECG, maximum heart rate reached, exercise-induced angina, old peak, slope, and several significant blood arteries colored by fluoroscopy. While most predictive analytics models are currently only available in academic settings, doctors will soon have access to complex databases into which a specific patient's characteristics can be entered to determine the likelihood of developing the cardiovascular disease with greater than 80% confidence. Artificial Intelligence and the Therapy of Cardiovascular Disease Ultronics is an artificial intelligence firm established in the United Kingdom, using technology to change cardiovascular disease diagnoses. Ultronics got a $10 million grant in 2018 to advance its innovation and make it commercially viable. The Ultronics system, developed by John Radcliffe Hospital, uses topological analysis to understand thousands of data points acquired from single echocardiography to diagnose coronary heart disease at an early stage. Ultronics is only the most recent advancement in the field of cardiology. According to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, artificial intelligence has the potential to provide a set of tools to supplement and extend the effectiveness of the cardiologist. According to the article's authors, AI will improve patient care by allowing clinicians to interpret more data in greater depth than ever before. Reinforcement learning algorithms will become companion physician aids, 
privately supporting physicians, and expediting clinical treatment. AI is increasingly being used to assist doctors in making better judgments rather than to replace them. Artificial intelligence, AI, is a technology that allows vast volumes of data to be fed into algorithms, which subsequently assist physicians in making the best decisions for their patient's health. Alexa capabilities and voice technology, from first aid to preventative techniques. Voice-enabled technology is already making significant progress in improving health outcomes for individuals with heart disease. Amazon's Alexa is by far the market leader in this field. Let's look at some examples of how voice assistants are becoming indispensable to cardiac patients. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a stroke occurs every 40 seconds in the United States. While immediate cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, can raise life chances by up to three times, just slightly more than half of Americans are familiar with this emergency therapy. Asking Alexa to teach you the basics of CPR is as simple as ordering a pizza, thanks to a skill developed by the American Heart Association, AHA. The AHA skill also assists users in recognizing heart attack and stroke symptoms. The AHA has been accepting donations via Alexa. A slew of additional features is intended to aid in the prevention of heart disease. While the human ear cannot identify the vocal qualities that signify heart illness, the Rochester-based medical center revealed that a voice analyzing app could help diagnose coronary artery disease based on a patient's tone and intensity. Another pilot study published in the journal of the Acoustical Society of America attests to the efficacy of this technology in cutting healthcare expenses and mortality rates among individuals with heart failure. Chatbots. Chatbots are artificial intelligence messaging programs that leverage user interaction to elicit information and offer answers. In other words, they are an automated conduit for gathering information that doctors can use to perform a health evaluation or to assist in deciding what medicine, if any, should be prescribed. High blood pressure and other cardiovascular illnesses are the most common reasons for doctor visits. Patients with stage one hypertension, for example, see their primary care physicians once every two months on average. But those with stage two hypertension see their doctors once every two to three weeks. Because cardiovascular disorders are so common, Intelligent chatbots are an excellent tool for gathering essential information and dramatically simplifying a doctor's job. A chatbot can collect routine information from a patient and provide it directly to the primary care physician. This technology is easily integrated with other software systems that doctors already use in their offices. Given the prevalence of cardiovascular disorders, clinicians should investigate chatbot solutions that can best combine with their existing technology and collect necessary information for more accurate patient treatment plans. Apps for Telemedicine. The American Heart Association issued a policy statement in 2016 advocating the use of telehealth apps to improve cardiovascular and stroke treatment. This was a risky approach for a lot of reasons. On the one hand, telemedicine, as previously stated, is the future of healthcare. In 2017, there were an estimated 30 million telehealth visits in the United States, up from 22 million in 2016. Furthermore, according to a 2015-2016 survey conducted by Brigham and Women's Health Hospital and reported by the Harvard Business Review, 97% of patients were satisfied with their first telehealth experience, and 74% believed the tool improved their relationship with their healthcare provider, indicating that the technology is a step in the right direction. On the other side, physicians' anxiety about the liability of utilizing telehealth apps and reimbursement issues have contributed to a lower-than-expected adoption of telemedicine technologies in the United States. Despite these reservations, the American Heart Association policy has determined that the benefits of telehealth technologies exceed the hazards. Dr. Crystal Wong expertly articulated the AHA's policy paper results, remote monitoring of patients with implantable cardiac devices resulted in earlier diagnosis and treatment of arrhythmias and heart failure symptoms, resulting in improved clinical outcomes. Using Telestroke to assess patients with acute ischemic stroke candidates for thrombolysis increased access to acute stroke therapy in underserved areas. It was demonstrated to be as safe and effective as standard care. Telemedicine applications are incredibly well equipped to connect physicians with patients in remote sections of the country or provide consultation to patients suffering from chronic cardiovascular conditions. Every doctor should think about providing this service to patients to improve the quality of care and patient outcomes. Health technologies are here to stay, 
and will continue to benefit physicians' work in the long run. In this video, we've discussed some of the most intriguing new technologies being used by doctors worldwide. Although some may have a limited value at the current time, they all can improve doctors' work now and in the future. Scope Care is a secure and healing environment for patients and carers, seeking to make every part relatable and motivating. From new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through the green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.